Well, hello there, everybody. How are you doing today? It's your buddy Super Turtle here, playing Valhelsia 3. And guys, we're in an interesting spot here. As you can see, I did some mining. Yes, we have materials. So we're going to go ahead and break these with a fortune pickaxe like we have here. Check this out. Look at this. For, a fortune 3, unbreaking 3, efficiency 4. That's pretty cool, but it's not as cool as our sword that I've named Excalibur. It's got indestructible sharpness 5, looting 3, knockback 2, and sweeping edge 3. It's been making a, a mean meat sandwich out of that farm over there. But let's go ahead and mine this with fortune. All right, guys, so we got quite a bit of loot from from that. I'm pretty happy. Check it out. We got up to 22 diamonds now. Uh, very, very cool. We have a bunch of this fluorite from Mechanism. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just good for the chemical crystallizer later on when we need to start crystallizing things to get more ores, I do believe. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be useful later on. Uh, but, oh, oh, throw my pickaxe. Just throw it on the ground because I don't like it. Okay, just kidding. I love it. So we do need to go ahead and smelt some of this up. I do have 47 iron here. And, guys, I'm starting to get kind of annoyed with our ore processing setup because I want to just be able to chuck these into a, a furnace or a chest, and I want them to be able to smelt themselves. You know what I mean? I want them to have some independence, not on me. But I can just go, goodbye, have a good one. You get smelted. So you're going to have to do this whole process. Oh, no. And I'm also running out of room for storage. But we all know the fix to that. It, remind, remind, it rhymes with... Uh, it, uh, um, uh, it rhymes with remind porridge. Yep, that's what it rhymes with. Mm -hmm. Anywho, I want to show you guys some stuff that I went ahead and did off camera. As you can see, we do have a waste stone here. Now, this allows us to go all the way over here to a sand place that I've set up. Now, I've just been hijacking these from villages that I've been finding. But if we look over here, it is not the closest thing. This took me forever to find the other day. I was just running around over here. For some reason, the map kind of freaked out. Uh, but I did end up finding this thing over here. Where did it go? Yeah, this guy. Uh, I want to go ahead and check this out. I have set something up for it. I hear something. Oh, it's a bunny. So let's go ahead over there. I believe it's this one. Nope, definitely not this one. It is... Morzirier? Nope. Is it oof? It's oof. Okay. So there goes a whole bunch of levels. We are falling. Aha! We're back. So yeah, I found this one I was exploring the other day. Cool thing is, it is it it is in. We got some. We can get some packed ice. That's the that's the word. Just gonna clean up your village here. Don't worry about it. Oh, look at this. Your house is made up of this. Gonna clean it up. There's a man in there. I also hear a zombie. It's probably freaking people out. Anyway, where is it? I think it's might be this way. Yeah, there it is. Okay, we're going to go over there and check it out. That was a lot closer than I thought. Oh my gosh, it's a crab. Uh, ow! You're mean! He even ran sideways. That was amazing, but he's a jerk. Why are crabs so mean? I just wanted to say hi. I'm just a friendly neighborhood turtle. All right, now this looked like a pillager outpost, but I wanted to go ahead and just check it out with you guys on camera because I didn't want to... I want to spoil anything for myself and be like, oh, look at this. It's it's not that cool, but uh, yeah, it definitely is. Look at this. Who is that guy? They are not happy that I am here. Ow. Juking all these peeps out. Get juked. Get juked. Get juked. Ow. 
Get juked. Get juked. Oh, there's... Oh, my gosh. Woo! Oh, I died. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no! This is not God well. Um... Well, shoot. Um, well, we got to get three levels so we can teleport back over there. All right, we're just going to get it and go. <clears throat> Dang. <laughs> so I got my stuff back. I only ended up dying like four more times, but well, we got everything, which is good. I was really worried because... Uh, when you die, your previous, like, tombstone little thing kind of floats up into the air, so, or kind of, doesn't really float up in the air, but kind of breaks. So I had to go get all my stuff really quickly, and I kept getting it and dying, but uh, eventually I got it and got out of there, so we're back here. But I only have one level, and we started the episode off with uh, 38. So yeah, we are, we're kind of hurting a little bit. Um, yeah, this is all we end up getting from it. I didn't end up eating any of my scrambled eggs, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, but anyways, guys, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit more with immersive engineering today. That was kind of a, a detour of a first uh, couple of minutes. I'm terribly sorry about that. I was not expecting to die there. Um, but we need to go ahead. Oh, we do have some cold coke in here. Perfect. I do want to get some more cold coke going. But I also want to go ahead and get some other things going. Um, I want to start getting into those those big machines if we can so we can start making some biodiesel but i might be biting off a little bit more than i can chew it all right so let's go ahead and grab up our immersive engineering manual here uh and as you can see we have some items that we can go ahead and make here now we can make a charging station fluid router um but what we really want to go ahead and make here and i believe the first one if we look here what creates the biodiesel which is what we want to make i don't think we're going to be able to get into it this episode but it will We'll have to get kind of down the, the progress in order to make it. So we need an industrial squeezer. Now let's look up here. What do we need it? We need a bunch of the steel frames here. So industrial hemp seeds give us 120 millibuckets. That's going to be our best bet. We already have that pretty much set up. Um, so we're going to need six steel scaffolding. So what does it take to make the steel scaffolding? steel scaffolding right here okay, so it takes three steel and quite a bit so it's gonna make it's gonna take quite a bit so we're gonna need to make two of these which isn't which isn't bad um let's see so we just need total of six and six of these so we just need one two three four five six seven eight do we really only need like a handful okay i'll just let all these process and we'll go ahead and make some steel scaffolding okay so while these are being smelted up into steel we're going to go ahead and try to make the other stuff for the the industrial squeezer now we are kind of being a little silly because we don't have all the power to go ahead and make this but i do have uh like the materials to make it so we're going to go ahead and try uh, this might be a silly thing to do, but you know what they say. You just got to send it sometimes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make the redstone engineering blocks. Okay, so that's that's uh, step number one done here. Uh, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to need some wooden barrels, which is going to take some treated wood. We can go ahead and do that. We need two of these total. I hope we have enough here. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, so here... We got two of them. Perfect. We can go ahead and hit A on these. Shabam. Now we need some fluid pipe pipes, which take iron, which is good. We have iron. We, we have iron. Yeah, baby. Okay, we just need our hammer. All right, we got our hammer here, so we need a total of six of these, I believe. I don't know if that's for one or two pipes. That's for eight. So we got that taken care of. Okay, so the steel fence is going to take more of those. We just need, I believe... Uh, yeah, we, we need three of those. Okay, so we can go ahead and make a piston as well. Okay, so we got the piston. Cool. And then what else do we need? 
the light engineering blocks. Okay, let's see what it takes to make these. Okay, iron. Okay, so it's gonna take quite a bit of copper, iron. I believe there was redstone in there. I could have been wrong. No, there wasn't. Okay, that's good for two, which is awesome. Okay, so all we need is the, oh, we need four wooden barrels, okay. I didn't know that. All right, now we're just waiting on the steel. Okay, now, so to make steel frames, you just make a slab, no, you gotta make that. Okay, so we're gonna need six, seven, eight of these. Like this. Okay, so that's good for six. Now we just need a couple more steel. Now I do believe I have some more steel laying around, so we can go ahead and see if I just got like three more. I really do miss being able to double click this and just being able to search for it, you know, when it highlights it in a certain color. I do miss that a lot. Well, look at that, we do got steel, so we can go ahead and finish that off. Yep, we have all of the steel frame. Now we just need the steel fence. So that means that we just need some, I think one more steel ingot. Oh, is that it? Is it done? Oh, I forgot. We need two more steel ingots. <laughs> Math today. All right, so we just got to do a waiting game. Then it doesn't look like we have anything in our chests. Oh, well. All right, so we got the two remaining steel ingots created. So we should be able... Yes! Is that it? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's... Okay, so this is what we need to do. We need one, two, three, four, six. Okay, so we're going to put this guy over here for now. So, see, how many of these do we actually need? We only needed six. We wasted a bunch of steel again. I'm, I'm a dork. So two pipes here. And then the light engineering block over here. Okay, that's pretty easy. Now we need the wooden barrels over here. All right, very cool. And then we need the other light engineering block right here. And then, where did my book go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from? Not my Joe. Okay, so then we also need this one here as well. Okay, that's easy. And then was that the end, uh, the redstone block there in the back corner? Yep, they look like it. Uh, actually, it's on this corner back here. Okay, and then up another block. And it's steel up above these guys here and a piston pointing down uh, I think the best way to do this would be to place a block here yeah okay and then I believe that's it if we just smack it with a hammer now nope we're missing something the central wooden barrel oh hey we did it <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now all we need to do is get power to this guy. Now, where's the power tap for this? Is that it here? Looks like an export. Um, that looks like an export. That looks like power. Okay, so we're going to run one of these across. Okay, so we did it. I'm very excited that we, we ended up figuring out what was going on. I'm very excited. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the power from this guy to go ahead and run power over here. So we'll just connect these bad boys up. Bam. And, yep, this is getting power. Sweet. Ow. <laughs> That's gonna happen every time I log in here now. Oh, the joys of early power gen. Okay, so I do have quite a bit of wood here that we can go ahead and throw into this sawmill. Every time we get one, we can tuck, chop, toss them in there. It's very loud. So as you can see, we got decent power there. Now let's go ahead over here. And we're going to grab some of these industrial hemp seeds so we can start to get the plant stuff. Okay, I think we're I think we're really hurting on power. We do have plant oil. It is working, but it's very slow. 
<laughs> well, we are making plant oil, guys. Heck yeah. That's awesome. We got it. Okay, so another... Th oh, wow. That's an import. So we can actually put stuff in here to the squeezer to get to get squeezed. Very, very neato. So what that means is once we get a decent source of power, we can automate it with one of their other options in there. Okay, so biodiesel. We got the plant oil. Now we need to worry about the ethanol. Now the ethanol comes from the industrial fermenter. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. Um, so let's see here. What does it take to make the industrial fermenter? Let's back out of here. Fermenter. Okay, so we need a total of six steel block, steel scaffolding. We got that. Uh, we need two light engineering blocks. Okay, and then iron sheet metal. Okay, so this is looking a lot cheaper. So, but it does need four cauldrons, which is something I do not have set up. Okay, so we have the four cauldrons, but we do not have enough iron to finish this, unfortunately. Uh, we have depleted our iron reserves, which is sad. Okay. I wish I would have moved that over just a little bit more. Ow. Check it out. We are getting plant oil, though. Yeah, look at that. It's definitely working. We're going to get biodiesel today, guys. Trust me. <laughs> I don't even know about that. But, um... So, I mean, at this point, I think I need to go mining again, try to get some more iron for our our system here, because we've only got two, which is really unfortunate. Um, but I guess I need to do some caving. So, iron iron is always a necessity this early on, and especially when we're not doubling our ores. it uh, It's really tedious. So, we're going to set up quite a few of these, actually. Um, some of these guys, these pitiful generators. So that way we can start generating more power for everything. And then eventually we'll switch over to something else. I think Mechanism has some generators that we're going to want. All right, guys. So I'm back from my mining extra give a give the And look at all of the iron that we have gotten. We have three stacks of iron. Plus a little bit. And we got some more diamonds. We got these digging claws that improve our uh, enchantment thing. That, that T that you see over there. Yeah, there's like this weird, cool-looking thing over here in the side of the, in the side of the mountain that we'll go check out later on. But uh, yeah, so we need to go ahead and get our, our iron smelting up here. Now I'm only going to smelt one of these stacks. I'm gonna be holding on to the other ones here because I don't want to smelt them unless we have to because we're gonna be doubling our, or setting up a ore doubler here pretty soon. And I kind of want some ores to have this ready to to double. You know what I mean? Uh, but we are gonna go ahead and maybe yeah this goes there so now we should have a faster mining speed oh wow like basic hand mining look at look how fast that is yeah i just mined that with my hand look how quick that mines holy heck okay i think that was what it was talking about so our hand mining speed is faster now not our pickaxe one okay Okay, that's pretty That's pretty cool. I'm actually a fan of that, so can I instant mine with my hand now? That would be pretty neat. No, but it's it's definitely faster. Uh, it's not like super duper fast like I would like it, but uh, you know, it's, uh, it's an improvement. Okay, so we should have all of the materials to go ahead and make everything for the, the fermenter now. Uh, but we do need the sheet metal, which will require four of those. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this. Shebang. Now we will be able to set this up to be more automatic. Oh, we made way too many of those. Holy heck. I guess well, we won't need them for the future. Now we just need the engineering blocks again. Okay. Light engineering block. We've got everything we need to go ahead and make it. Uh, eventually we'll have to kind of, you know, shove this thing over. But we're technically going to put this guy right here. Um, technically gonna put it, I don't know what that means. Okay, so fermenter literally looks identical. <laughs> Trying to access this guy is gonna be really weird. Um, and then the two pipes here, uh, the cauldrons go here like so, and then with the, the sheet metal, this is the part where I get a little, it's a little different. Okay, so let's just go ahead and set everything up from the floor up. Oh, that's not the right thing. Okay, then the redstone block goes here. 
Engineer block goes here. Yep. Gosh dang, I did it again. And then just the four sheets on top here. And then if we take our hammer, yes, we have done it. I probably should have made that the opposite way, but uh, the fermenter is, I guess, fermenting. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we need to make some hardened clay. Uh, we are going to move that there. Okay, we got one there. We need a total of four. And what we are going to need to focus on is a mole pow, baby. If you guys don't watch Donut Media, you should. Those guys are great. If you're into any type of carpet. Okay, so we have our additional low voltage connectors that we needed here. Let's go ahead and get this placed. We're actually going to place this on the side, so it's going to be even lower and look even more janky. I don't think there's a way for us to go. Oh, yeah, we still can. Okay, so we are still producing power here. Are you getting any at all? Uh, not really. I think all the power is pretty much going to that guy. Yeah, because we walk through it and we get hit by that one. Okay, so let's go ahead and make up another one of those pitiful generators. Okay, so we got that. Now, what do we need for this again? Furnace, iron bars. Furnace, iron bars, cobblestone, and shebang. That's what we need, shebang. Okay, let's get on over here. We're going to actually fix these. All right, so I'm going to put this uh, pitiful generator up here. And we're going to connect power. I don't think we need to do that. I'm pretty sure we can just put that right there on top of that, but I'm not going to. So now this gets its own power. And where'd it go? Oh, there it is, beautiful generator. All right, so the power connectors are less in our face. Let's get them, let's get them going. Yep, check it out. That okay? So this is full of plant stuff. Uh, what do we need to put in here for for the ethanol? Oh, we can just put in. We can just put in veggies. So, not gonna lie, in Minecraft, carrots are really good, but in real life, your boy hates carrots. I cannot stand carrots. They, that, that carrot taste, ugh, just makes me wanna throw up. Oof. Like, the only form of carrot that is okay is carrot cake. That's because I can't taste the carrot. If I can't taste the carrot and whatever the carrot's in, then it's good. Know what I mean? But other than that, ugh, carrots are disgusting. So we're going to use our carrots here. Eventually, these will be automated with uh, immersive engineering, but we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using a lot of them for uh, like villagers soon. So you have that to look forward to. But let's go ahead, throw this in here. Now, these generators are not good are not that powerful. Um, what do we need to do? What do we need to do? Okay, let's read then. Wait, what if... Can we use carrots for this? Okay, we can't use carrots for this. So my idea is out the window. Let's go get the potatoes. All right, so we got the potatoes here. So that whole speech about me, do about the uh, carrots is completely gone. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and let this just ferment, I guess. And yep, well, look at that. We're already getting ethanol in here. It's not a whole lot, but it, it, it should be enough to go ahead and start working on biodiesel. So let's go ahead and get a refinery going. Um, that's our, our next step here. All right, refinery, what do we need? Oh my lord, we're gonna need a lot. So we're not gonna be able to do that today, but guys, today we got a, uh, uh, what is this called? A squeezer and a fermentation thingamabobber from Immersive Engineering. If you guys did enjoy the episode, please do hit that like button. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out. Take care. Bye-bye. <coughs> okay, so we are going to try our best to go ahead and make this guy. Um, so we need one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yep, so we do have enough room. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then here. So 
we can pump everything else in. Uh, we are gonna. I, I had to go ahead and smelt up some more of the iron. I wasn't too excited about that, but we definitely needed it to go ahead and make some of the the piping, because uh, we need more, and then we're also gonna need more to go ahead and do some more stuff. Uh, just trust me. Want to make twelve of these plates, and our hammer is almost done, ski. Uh, so look, we have a total of twenty of these fluid pipes, which is perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and put those pipes in here. I'm just trying to make everything because we do need more of the steel to process because of things. Now, let me see here. Yeah, so the piping just goes straight across here all the way through. All right, and then we need a heavy machine block up in the front, and then it looks like a light engineering block, or heavy engineering block in the front, light engineering block in the back. Okay, so I do have more iron in here getting processed up. That's gonna be just enough to go ahead and do everything, but let's do the light engineering block again. This guy here, and we needed quite a bit of iron to do that. So I'm glad I'm smelting up some more iron because we definitely need it. Um, but I, I hope we're able to not have to make a new one, a new hammer here, because that would take one of the iron away. Uh, but oh well, we don't have to. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make one because it will probably break. It's gonna be a bit of a longer episode. I hope you guys do enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, but let's go ahead here. Shift click that. Oh, wait. Glad that I checked. That would have been really sad. Okay, so I'm just missing two more iron. Look at that. There we go. So probably gonna have to smelt up some more iron. Not too happy about that, but that's okay. Okay, so light engineer block in the back. Okay, so that one goes double up in the back here. There we go. Okay, and then the heavy engineer block up there, and then we have the iron sheets. Yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna have to smelt up one of those stacks of iron, unfortunately. Uh, it just means I'll have to do some more mining later, which is pretty, I, I enjoy doing mining now because I just watch some like Hermitcraft videos while I do it. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. Uh, so this here, that there. I do like how it gives you, oh my, mm, didn't need to do that, I already made them up. <laughs> Why am I so dumb? Oh, man. Okay, redstone. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. Ah! That's just iron and redstone. What's in the middle? Copper? Yeah. My own stupidity frightens me sometimes. Okay, so then we place our block over here. Now we're just waiting for the steel to go ahead and smelt up, uh, which is actually really cool because after that's done and ready to go, we can go ahead and finish this up. So those are good to go. All right, so to make this, we need to make the steel plates. Oh, hammer broke. Okay, so we've got one of these down. Now we just need three more to smelt up. All right, so let's see here about making this guy. All we need is the Electrum ingot. I thought I had it in my inventory. I guess I shift clicked it out, which is kind of stupid, but uh, good. So I have the Electrum ingot here. Let's go ahead and craft this bad boy up. All right, I even have some power generation ready for it. Okay, so bam, those are here. Now, what do we need to right click? Uh, let's see here. There. Right click the heavy engineering block in the middle layer. Okay, so let's take our hammer. Bam, refinery, very cool. Um, so I believe that we're going to be running cables. Yes, so this is the export. And that is the import, so that is now connected. And then if we come over here, that is the import, that is the export. 
All right, so we're making biodiesel here. Now, where's the power tap at? Power tap is back there. That makes it pretty inconvenient to get to, game. Thanks for nothing. So we're going to take this pitiful generator. We're just going to put it here for now. We're going to have to kind of break our way back there, which is not very fun. Okay, so now that we're back here, let's go ahead and place this guy here, this guy here, and we can connect these up. And then we can fix this back up. Place these blocks, make it look somewhat decent. And uh, we need to give it power. <laughs> I was trying to think, I'm like, what is going on? Why did it work? Uh, let's just see, does the coal give it more power than the wood? It might, I'm, I'm not sure, it's kind of pitiful, right? Put that in here, oh, look at that. It does take lot, much longer to process than these guys. Okay, so these are all <gasps> biodiesel guys. We're doing it. 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 Okay, how do we freaking load up the biodiesel into the drill? Because now I can start doing a three by three mining because we have this automated. Uh oh, did it just crash? Please don't crash. It crashed. All right, so there is something wrong with this tool thing, this tool rack and drill. Um, do not do not use these two together if you are going to use it. Uh, I wanted to, I had to go ahead and actually spawn in a whole other one because after seven attempts at different backups trying to get this tool rack off, I just realized I'm going to leave it there and we're going to forget about it and never use it again. Uh, but I did go have to go ahead and rebuild everything. The cool thing was it didn't take me very long because everything still seemed to be built, uh, but for some reason. Uh, I only had the wood for one of these, so we need to go ahead and break up the power between those now. Everything is, in fact, hooked back up, so that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we'll have to go ahead and rebuild our our stuff, which is a little unfortunate. But if we look here, uh, yeah, we're getting power. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get our potatoes again. They should be fully grown. Yep, they sure are. Yeah, we had to back up. Cool thing was, is earlier in the video, uh, it did actually back up, so we didn't lose that much progress. So it, it didn't take me very long to get everything back up and running. But we're going to go ahead and get our fermenting station uh, back up and running here. And we are going to be operating all of those generators in our base. And this is going to be a heckin' long episode today, guys. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you're still watching at this point in the video, I mean, I guess you are ready. But uh, yeah, so let's 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 get this far departed. Okay, over here in the fermenter, we got to go ahead and get the potatoes in there. It will start to, I guess, ferment. It does take a bit, as we figured out, to start working, and it should just automatically start pumping in here. Yep, we've already got biodiesel getting pumped out. Very good. So uh, we're gonna end up moving. We're gonna push this over just a little bit here in, in a little while. Um, actually, did all of the all the food got put over here. Okay, so we should be able to go ahead and do this then. We are going to move it over two blocks to center it. Or I guess not two blocks, but we're, we're, we're going to center it. Uh, so the piping will need to go here. So it'll be uh, one, two, three, bam. Bam, bam. Yeah, so then we have the opening there. Uh, piping goes here, redstone thing goes here, light engineer's blocks go here, crates go here, then we get our fences, got to place our temp block up here to place the piston, and whammo, we got our, our guy over here, we're going to just go ahead and throw this up here, just so it's nice, nice and lit back here. <laughs> I might end up just leaving this little corner piece. Okay, so this is it. Um, yeah, we're, we're producing biodiesel at this point. Oh, yeah, we got to get our, our mole Powell baby back up here. Okay, so now this is getting power. We'll go ahead and put the, the, the seeds in there eventually. But yeah, guys, this is, uh, we're getting biodiesel. I didn't think we'd be able to get that in this episode, but guys, we sure as heck did. Now let's figure out how to freaking put this in here. But uh, I'm actually almost nervous to build this. 
Is this what broke it? Just the... Nope, mining drill didn't seem to break it. Okay. Whew. Okay, so that's how we put the biodiesel in. We just straight up put it over there. Uh, but it says it's full, so let's go test it out now. Oh, as you can see, it's moving. All right, we are down here at the quarry, I guess you could call it. It's a very manual quarry. Uh, but let's go ahead, break this block. <sighs> so it is the mining drill. All right, guys, so it seems that the mining drill in this version of Immersive Engineering, when the drill head gets a little bit of damage on it, it crashes the game. Um, I just spoke with one of the admins of the Valhalla 3 pack, and they're saying that's a known issue, and they're trying to work on it. So unfortunately, the mining drill is going to be out for a few episodes, it seems like. But guys, we did make a refinery today. It's very, very cool. We're going to go ahead and connect everything back up, make sure it's all working good. Yep, there we go. I will start to get more biodiesel... Uh, created here. I did have to go to another backup because when we did crash again, I had to reload a backup. So this is the fourth time I've been here and I'm done. Anyways, guys, I'll see you all in the next episode. <laughs>